your campers, Camp Counselor Lola here, the best camp counselor. Just kidding. And today, we're doing a Q&A from my Instagram. Let's get into it. Who is the best team and why is it team random? Well, let's take a gander at who the teams are. I've never really addressed this, so here we go. Team Omega, we have me as the camp counselor and Patton as my co-counselor. Jess is, is one of our campers, as well as Kara, Layla, Betty, Alexa, a Dusk, Vi, and Symphony. Someone we haven't seen in quite a while. For the random campers team, we have, of course, Random as the counselor, Fairy Wheat as a co-counselor, Gordon as a counselor in training, and as for their campers, we have Airy, Aspen, Edme, and May. For the science team, we have Gladys and Shell as counselors and Peabody as their counselor in training. And for campers, we have Brittany, Tori, Cam, Zira, you. It's called, that's how you pronounce their name. Are you surprised by that? You better be. Sean, Harmony, Kayla, Benry, Gregory, and Angel or Ange, and Pixel. And finally, for the defenders, we have Autumn as their camp counselor, their captain as her counselor in training, and for the campers, she has Jesse, Ree, Lisa, Quinn, and 404, Rory. Talia and Jason. Who's the best team? My personal opinion, it is 100% genuinely the random campers. I mean, come on. If I don't want to be biased, I should say the random campers. A, because they're all, all really cool and I love the characters. B, it's one of my close friends and being the counselor. And See, they have the most people to watch their campers. So they're most likely the most responsible, even though random may say otherwise. A close second, of course, would be the Omega. Why not? But third place would definitely be the Defenders, and last place would be the Science Team, because as they have, though they have three people watching in their campers, they also have a whole lot of campers. So, we'll see as the session goes on, who all is actually the best. What are some of the activities people can do in the summer camp? I am very glad you asked. It's not only will there be story times, and campfire stories, is game nights and more, but we will also be doing live streams on Saturdays and Sundays, as well as a special class on how to make original and alternate characters and universes. I'm very excited for those videos because those ones are going to be very fun. LGBTQ plus headcanons? Question mark. For Team Omega, we have me, Lola, who is bi romantic, asexual, and goes by she/her. Jess is also bi romantic, asexual, and goes by she/her. Layla is bisexual and goes by she/her. Betty is also bisexual and goes by she, her. Kara goes by she, they. Alexa is transgender and goes by she, her. Dusk is gender non-conforming and queer and goes by she, her. And Symphony is panromantic and goes by she, her. On the science team, Chell and Gladys are both dating and both go by she, her. Tori is queer and goes by she, her. Cam is a lesbian and goes by she, her. Zira is queer and goes by she, her. Pixel is asexual and goes by she, her. And that's it for the science team. For the Defenders, we have Captain, who is lesbian and goes by she, her. We have Jesse, who is demisexual and also goes by she, her. Quinn goes by they, them, and is ace arrow. 
Rory is bisexual and goes by she, her. And I believe that's it for the defenders. And finally, for the random campers, we have Camp Cancer Random, who goes by she, they, but with a preference for they, them, and is an asexual lesbian. For Edna, she, she goes by she, they, and is a lesbian. Aspen goes by he, him, and is pansexual. Ari goes by he, she, they, and is arrow ace. May is she, her, and is asexual and biromantic. Wheatley goes by he, him, and is pan, and Gordon goes by he, him, and is gay. If there are any I'm missing, I know for a fact that the camp counselors will correct me in the comments. And if you weren't planning on doing that, please do, because I'm worried. Why do you have the same name as my ex-neighbor's dog in Thailand? I have no idea. Next question. How is life? I think the best answer for this question is good and confusing and, uh, but it's pretty, because I mean, that's all of our lives right now. It's very confusing and, yeah, but it's not going bad by any means. We're pretty good right now and I get to be with little Yishkote over here. Hi Yishkote, hi Yishkote, that's my sister's puppy. Um, anyways, yeah, next question. Are you open for art traits? Indeed I am. I mostly only do art trades on either Discord or Instagram. Both of them, my username is Official. Just DM me or PM me, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, we can decide on what we want to do. Does Lola is gay? Yes? Kinda. As previously mentioned... I am asexual by romantic. So yeah, kinda. Do you have any siblings, and if so, how many? Yes, I do indeed have siblings. I have one sister named Marley. You guys know her, you guys love her. She's technically my sister, technically my roommate, kinda 50-50. We have my brother, who's Johnny. He's been in my videos basically since day one. I have a couple other siblings. I have an older sibling, like an older sister, an older brother, and a ton of half-siblings. Slash adoptive-esque siblings. What's your favorite tree? Birch. Yeah, probably birch. It's nice. How did you come up with Lola's backstory? I don't remember exactly how, but I do remember that the first ever version of her backstory was because I watched one, like I watched the missing episodes of Glitchdale. And by missing episodes, I mean I had missed these episodes when they were released. I didn't know they even existed until I went and watched them. And that's where the original Lola came in. I had also watched another comic that day. I don't remember what this comic was. Oh, I know what it was. It was... Okay, I don't remember what the name was, but like I, it was about this alternate version of Gaster that ended up in the, this world, and they found out that Gaster and Sands and Papyrus were all related. That's how Lola came, the original Lola, came around. Then her backstory started to get changed, her design didn't get changed until way later, um, hence why the first appearance of Lola still has like a really high-pitched voice. It's because it was the young pink shirt Lola, as I call her. Um... I think basically it was because I didn't want her in the underground from the start, but I didn't want her to not end up in the underground, as well as I tried to figure out how she would fall, but Kara wouldn't, and how Frisk would fall later, and how we could, mix, how we could put the genocide with the pacifist, and eventually it turned into what the book Ace of clubs is going to be. So, that's basically how the backstory uh, came around. Uh, the general stuff. Actually, no. I remember what it was. It was Dreamer Reborn. Um, I heard about the, this project called Dreamer Reborn, which was Azrael used Frisk's soul to stay alive, and they became one. Um, same with uh, Endertale. They did that. Like, half of Frisk's soul with that. 
And I was thinking, well, a half human, half monster, that actually makes a lot of sense. I think Lola should be that. And that's where that story came from. Thank God I remembered it. I was trying to think of what comic I watched to come up with it. But yeah, there we go. That figured it out. And the final question of today, what got you into Undertale? Alright, so back in 2016, when Undertale was first released, no, 2015, yes, 2015, back when Undertale was first released, it was this huge thing, it was like all over the place, including Jacksepticeye, which was someone I followed, or subscribed to, on YouTube, and I didn't know what it was and didn't want to watch it. Because I was thinking it wouldn't be very fun. Obviously, it was wrong, but anyways, um, my brother began to talk about it and tell me all about the story and all about this and that and the other. And finally, I watched the playthrough and became absolutely obsessed. Which is why I started the channel Blooky Gaming and why it started as that. So then, after Blooky Gaming was made, I slowly started to get more and more into Undertale. Um, until now, which is five years later, we're still going strong. And now that there's Delta Room, there's even more stuff to unpack, and yeah. So that's how I got into Undertale. It was basically just my brother dragging me into another fandom. That's what happens with most of my fandoms, you'll notice. If like, you ask me, how'd you get into this fandom? It'll most likely be my brother. In some regard, my brother got me into it. But anyways... That's all for today. If you guys have any more questions you want me to answer, put them in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a YouTube-only q and I don't know. But anyways, I'm the little skeleton wizard. Marley just got home from a visit with some friends. Um, but yeah, I shall see you in the next video. Camp Counselor Lola, out. Peace out, my guys.